the last two episodes, we took a look at various Audi driver's assistance systems in city traffic and on motorways, a range of systems to support the driver. And today we are going a step further, because I get driven around thanks to the Audi piloted driving concept. But how is this possible? How does it technically work? Piloted driving without any human intervention. A vision of the future no more. Until the necessary laws for series production come into force, the technological showpiece demonstrates just how safe and stress-free piloted driving can be. So we are almost ready, but first I want to introduce you to my co-driver, Dr. Horst Glaser, Head of Suspension Development and Driver's Assistance Systems. So you developed the piloted driving from the beginning. Uh, what can I expect? Hopefully a very <laughs> relaxed driving, because uh, the difference to normal drive is we were both driven by Jack. In the guise of the Audi A7, Audi's research car with social competence, known internally as Jack, masters all sorts of driving maneuvers on the motorway, overtakes and shows particular consideration for other road users. The car is therefore completely in control, a significant development compared to the current driver assistance systems. Look at this, it's completely autonomous. So what is the difference between assistance systems and piloted driving? Using assistance systems means that you are responsible for the car, for the traffic situation, and uh, the difference between assistant and piloted driving is piloted driving means the responsibility goes to the car. Piloted driving uses similar sensors and cameras to those used in driver assistance systems. The radar records the area in front of the car up to a distance of 250 meters, whilst a video camera with a wide aperture angle detects the lane markings, as well as pedestrians, other vehicles and crash barriers. 12 ultrasound sensors monitor the area around the car. A new addition to the range of sensors is the laser scan. This provides ultra-precise data from a distance of up to 80 meters away. Its laser diode transmits almost 100,000 infrared light pulses per second, which are invisible to the human eye. The laser scanner covers an area of 145 degrees over six levels. It also provides support for the other existing sensors and with its wide aperture angle, it quickly detects incursion on the safety distance. Once in series production, the data are then collected in the central iPad-sized driver assistance controller. The so-called ZFAS uses all of the sensor data to put together a model of the surroundings which is analyzed in real time to calculate maneuvers. So what do you think, when could this be available for everybody? Piloted driving, as we drive it now as a uh, highway pilot, uh, will be offered, in my opinion, around about 2020, 2021. But what we are going to offer uh, much earlier, the so-called traffic jam pilot. That means you can drive piloted, or the car drives piloted during a traffic jam situation on the highway. That means up to 60 kilometers per hour we will let the car drive you. Audi has worked on the so-called first mile, i.e. the journey to the motorway, at another test site near the ingolstadt Süd motorway junction in southern Germany. From 2017, in cooperation with the city of Ingolstadt, it will test structural measures as well as technical solutions such as sensors in the area of the junction. The most complete form of piloted driving, namely city driving, is currently being researched in Shanghai and the USA, among others. Piloted driving will be one of the main innovations at Audi for the next few years. It's a logical evolution in the development and it's an evolutionary step that has the potential to revolutionize the experience of driving a car. And Audi engineers are pretty sure that fun and performance driving will never get out of fashion, as the driver in the end always has a choice. And in the last episode of our series, we'll be heading out with our quality assurance team on a test drive. See you then. Bye. <laughs>